Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is April 1st. So, uh, there is nothing we're really interested in uh, in the sales here. We got uh, this uh, Verniland um, spreader. We did use this before. The nice thing about this spreader, if you haven't seen it before, is it does fertilizer and lime. The bad thing about it is it has a very small hopper. So, Probably not interested in that. We don't need the Zetter tractor. We don't need the Amazon um, cultivator. And there is a uh, Mouse 5 Europa Sugar Beet Harvester, which, again, we don't really need. Okay, so nothing in there. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on in the contract. So we should have our hay cutting. Um, so we're going to just, as usual, well, actually, you know what we should do? Nope, never mind. We're going to accept all of the baling as usual. We're not going to accept the weeding. And then let's go new contracts. Nice. We got a fertilizing there. Another fertilizing. A baling. Three fertilizing. Another fertilizing. Fertilizing. So where is field 71? Is the farmer actually doing that field themselves this time? Uh, okay, there's 19. There's another fertilizing. Oh, there it is, finally. Okay. <laughs> that was, that was a freak, starting to freak me out, man. We rely on field 71 because that's the one that pays out the big money and gives us the, the really good equipment. Okay, so it looks like we have the Pottinger mower. We got the, uh, is that a, the JCB tractor? I'm not sure. We got the big windrow. We got the big tether. Yeah, all the good stuff. Okay, we're going to borrow these items here. And let's just hit it a couple more times, see if there's anything else. Nope. All right, very good. So we got fertilizing and baling. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, guys. Well, uh, is this is this a J yeah? This is the JCB tractor. Okay, cool. So I like this tractor. Um, you know, you guys have seen me do this a bunch of times now, but we will go ahead and show. Some of we'll do uh, some time lapse uh, on these contracts, and uh, by the time we're done, we should have ourselves a nice little chunk of change, more than enough, I'm sure, to purchase uh, our barley field that we want to purchase. So yeah, um, with that. Enjoy the time lapse. Let's do this.
guys we have finished our con uh, well i should say our bailing contracts and we are now up to two hundred eighteen thousand eight hundred eight dollars uh, i did repair the mccormick here um so that took some of the money away because i think we ended up with two hundred twenty thousand when it was all said and done haven't repaired the new holland yet uh nor have i cleaned it up because now uh i have all of the fertilizing contracts to do i'm just going to do those off camera uh, because we did a time lapse on those fairly recently uh but i do want to show you uh what they are there so let's see none of these are huge this field 39 is going to be big but the rest of them are pretty small um so i'm thinking we could probably knock this out with five bags of fertilizer so yeah, let's go with five bags of fertilizer. The nice thing about fertilizer is even if we buy more than we need to, we'll always use it. Uh, but let's start with five and that's gonna cost us 9,000 bucks right there. And then we'll see, uh, you know, how it goes. Okay. All right, well, let me get this knocked out. I'll bring you guys back when I'm finished with 
uh, the fertilizer contracts. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? There was something else I wanted to... I wanted to start doing, because I've seen another YouTuber do this. And it's more realistic. And that is... I want to start using the forklift to load the fertilizer instead of just doing it automatically. Um, again, because... Just for realism, right? So... It's going to be more work to do it this way, but more satisfying too. Okay, so basically what we'll do is we'll go get our forklift out of here. All right. And uh, we, we, we can load the fertilizer in by the forklift. I hope I can lift them up high enough to do this, actually, now that I think about it. Um, one thing we can do, though, is we can lower the spreader down, too. All right, so let's get right about here. And we want to spread the forks out. It takes about three bags to fill up that spreader. Having a hard time getting inside of that one on the right. Let's try this again. Whoop. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we got in that one. And then we need to go up, down. There we go. Okay. Now, if we... Well, let's just try it this way and see if this works. Oh, yeah. You know what, though? I'm not going to be able to get high enough with this. We'd have to use the forks on the mat. Uh, not the mass the... All right, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll at least do this for now until we can get something that can lift them higher. Well, either that or we just, I guess we could just use the forks on the front loader. If we're going to do it, let's do it right. Now, I'd eventually like to get a telehandler because um, I've seen those in action and they're really nice. For jobs like this um, but that's not a high priority for us right now but down the road anyway okay so let's park the forklift and we'll we'll get the uh, front loader attachment forks because those we can lift up a lot higher so the forklift this little forklift is just perfect for pallets but you know for anything where we have to you know lift higher up in the air it's not not the best, I've noticed. Because it doesn't go up that high. Man, that one on the right is just a pain in the butt, man. There we go. Can we actually get a third one in here? Because we need three in total. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Um, maybe we should put the weight on the back. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw this in the time lapse. I did show it, but it went by really quick. I, I bought a heavier weight for working with the bales. This is a one ton, whereas the other one's only like a 650 kilogram or something like that. In fact, we could probably even sell that other weight. I don't see what the purpose is in having it, but... All right, now, let's see if we can get this one again. There we go. 
It's still kind of heavy, but we can handle it now. Okay, that's actually still as high as we can go. So let's do this. Let's switch to here. Oh, that is lowered. Oh, okay. <laughs> as far down as that's going to go, but this should work, though. There we go. It's a little, being a little glitchy, but. I think it's confused about having three bags there. It should take, pretty much take all three of them. I mean, there was a little bit of fertilizer in there before, but not enough to. Come on, game. What you doing to me, man? You're killing me here. All right, well, maybe, maybe three bags is too much for it. It kind of doesn't know which one to register, maybe, I'm guessing. Can we just do two? All right, well, let's do the, the one. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> it actually looks like it's spilling all the way through. All right. It, okay, started. There it goes. Still looks like it's spilling out, but it's it's not. It's filling it up. Okay, well, I'll um I'll keep doing it this way for now, but if it gets to be too much of a pain in the butt, we'll just go back to the to the other way, because this isn't as working working as smoothly as it should be. I'm um guarantee you we're gonna need these other two bags before we're done with all of these contracts, though. We'll just leave this here for now. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're sitting at $209,481. Uh, that was after purchasing that fertilizer. So I will bring you back at the very end of the fertilizing contracts to see how much money we make uh, from there. So, yeah, I'll see you in just a bit. All right, guys, we are just about finished with the last field here. Just getting this last little bit, and uh, then we'll be done with the fertilizer contracts. This is the biggest field, so it'll pay the most. And boom. All right. 7000 bucks for this one. All right, anything else doesn't look like it. All right, so we now have $230,419 if we, let's save the game here. If we look at our ledger here, we spent $9,000 on fertilizer, but we made, well, we made a total of 81315 on contracts, but that also includes the hay and does not include the sold bales so we made another nine thousand two hundred ninety eight dollars on the on the bales that were sold most of that was the silage because i kept excuse me most of that was the silage <clears throat> because i kept the hay and yeah so that basically means we netted seventy four thousand nine hundred ninety one dollars um which isn't too bad and brings us up two hundred thirty dollars and four uh two hundred thirty thousand dollars uh, four hundred nineteen all right, so let's, we have 34% fertilizer left over, which is great. And we'll just hang on to that for, for the next time. 
And I think what we're going to do now is sleep until April 3rd. I'll check the sales on April 2nd. And then, you know, do the usual, load up the produce. Oh, actually, you know what, though? We need to look at our animals. So they are, yeah, they're okay. They're getting low, but they're okay. We're, we'll just keep an eye on it. Greenhouses should be, the fertilizer's getting down there, too. So we might do something about that on April 3rd, too. Uh, we're really going to probably need to. Okay, let's offload. Uh, I, oh, we got two pallets. Okay. One of those is probably almost completely empty because it's about 33% uh, per pallet in the hopper here. Can I get to you? Yeah, there we go. Oh, the other thing, too, is we need to repair our tractor. Um, well, it's about halfway. But let's go ahead and repair it. The, f the fuel's the fuel's okay for now. We don't really need to worry about the fuel. Whoops. Stop it. We'll wash it and repair it so it's in tip-top condition. The McCormick is in very good condition right now. I, just, I repaired that not too long ago. Alright, that should be good enough there. Let's grab this. $3,202 bucks to repair. Alrighty then. Very nice. So we're sitting at $227,217. Now, um, basically, 180000 well, 180500 of that is in reserve for that, for field uh, 54, I think it is, the one with the barley on it. So if something comes up in the sales, um, as long as it doesn't dip us below that, uh, we can we can get it if it's something we need. All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna cut the camera here, get these uh, two pallets put away, and then I'm uh, like I said I'm gonna sleep until April 3rd, get the produce loaded up, bring you back for that for the sale, and then we'll kind of see where we're at from there. So I'll see you guys on April 3rd or April 2nd if something noteworthy comes up in the sales. All right, guys, we're back. It's April 3rd. Uh, nothing good came up in the sales on April 2nd, and this is what we have in the sales here on April 3rd. Uh, at some point in the future, I'd like to get a forage wagon, um, but it's not something that we want to uh, that we want to do now. When we when we get cattle, and my plan for cattle is go big or go home. In other words, we're not going to start with a little pasture. We're going to at the very least get the the first bar cattle barn. You know, at that point, we might start transitioning uh, to, excuse me, using a forage and a silo and a silo bunker, or I'm sorry, loose silage and a silage bunker, uh, you know, when that time comes. Um, so anyway, yeah, nothing in the sales, nothing came up, like I said, yesterday on April 2nd. So I have uh, all of the lettuce loaded up. Let's take a look at the prices here and see where we're at with uh, our produce and our eggs. So eggs best price right now is the bakery it looks like okay and then for lettuce it is mama joe yep mama joe okay mama joe does buy eggs but the bakery does not so we will go to the bakery first drop the eggs off i'm sorry no let me repeat that the bakery does not buy lettuce so we can stop at the bakery first to drop the eggs off. And then we'll go to Mama Joe's to drop the lettuce off. But if we go to Mama Joe's first, she'll also buy the eggs and we won't get the best price. And, you know, I think it's about time for us to give our forklift a little bit of a hosing down here. It's pretty dirty. Look at that thing, man. It's been doing work. 
probably would be a good idea to shut it off first before I hose it down with water considering it, it's an electric vehicle, but <laughs> it's all right. We'll be fine. We won't get electrocuted, I promise. Sure like this forklift though. It is a nice machine, man. Okay, let's go park it and then uh, we'll go deliver our produce and make a little bit more money and then we'll see where we're at from there. $2,413. All right. $9,240. All right, that brings our total up to $238,560. That's a nice chunk of change. Yes, indeed it is. That's all our money because we paid the bank off in January and yeah, we are really doing good here. Except for I did not pull in. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> and not pull this in close enough. So let's just bring it around to here. That's good enough. I do have that mod that locks the locks the tongue, but it doesn't work with this pickup and bed. Alright guys. Well let's see here. I think. Let's look at uh let's look at our critters again. We need to get some food for these guys. I mean we could go into next month, but the thing is is nothing's gonna become available for harvest and uh you know, grain wise until June. And we are not gonna I don't think we're gonna be able to get all the way through May with the food the feed that we have. In June Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you know what? We need to buy, we need to buy that field in May. Yeah. Okay. Cause we can, we can harvest the barley in June. So we really only need to buy enough feed to get them through May. Cause we're going to buy the barley field in May 54 and then uh, we can harvest it in June. Okay. So yeah. Um, Let's do that then. And we also need to we probably should go ahead and just get some fertilizer for our greenhouses too. They're getting low. Yeah, see this is only this is down to 186 liters. That's 188. This one has 742, but that's because I think we we had a little extra that we put in here. Um Okay. Yeah, so we need to hook up to the trailer for that, and we probably have a little water left over in the trailer too, so we'll just dump that off in the greenhouses, and then we'll also top the water off too. We might as well, but we have to empty the tank first so we can put the fertilizer inside of it. Yeah, we have uh, quite a bit of water in here, in fact. So let's get that dumped off first. Yeah, that one's topped off on water. This one won't top off, but we'll put the rest of it in there for the moment. All right, now we want to go to the store. We want to go to pallets and we want to buy five of these because we're going to need a well, we might be able to get away with four because that other one has more fertilizer in it. So let's try four first. And for whatever reason, we have to buy these one at a time. Okay, so that gives us four of those. Um, we'll buy the, we'll take care of the feed later. All right, I don't have anything high enough to lift these pallets up to put them in the tank so we just pretend like we have a hose and a pump on this trailer uh, to load the fertilizer in. When we get a telehandler we probably will be able to lift it up high enough to do that.
You know, actually, I could, I guess I could try the McCormick to see if it high enough. Let's just, uh, just for the heck of it, let's try this. The idea is that we want to get the valve. Of course, it looks like they might have a release underneath, too. I don't know. So if we were to lift this up, oh well, yeah, we it does go high enough. Now the next question though is, does it actually drain in there? It doesn't. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll do this anyways for role playing purposes because it's realistic. It might be actually pulling from that one down on the ground, but if it if it is, it is not a big deal. Oh no, it was pulling from that one. Okay. Oh wait, no, no, I don't want to be in there. I, you know, if you guys have been watching me all along, you know, you know that I like realism for the most part. I do kind of fudge a little bit on it because I also think there needs to be a balance between realism and fun gameplay and also the ability to deal with glitches and bugs and stuff. But it's just, it's more satisfying to do something like this, like you would in real life, rather than just have it all of a sudden magically get into the tank, you know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of why we do this. So what we would do in reality here, of course, is we would line this up, and then we climb up on to this little catwalk on the tank, open the lid on the tank, open the valve on the thing, and, you know, and then drain it in. But we just have to kind of assume that that's what's happening. That's about as close as we can get to realism for this deal. Um, oh, I climbed back in the tractor. I need to be in the pickup. Wait, why does it keep putting me in there? Cut it out, game. I need to be in here. There we go. Oh, that was interesting. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but the forks were slowly raising up as the pallet got lighter. That's pretty cool that it actually factors that in. Okay, let's just leave this handy in case we do have to get one more pallet. So I'm just going to kind of park it right over here. And we'll see if we can get all these filled up with these four pallets of furt. Yeah, that one's full. Wow, that didn't take long at all. Okay. That one's full. And that one's full. And we have 116 liters left over. Nice. Okay, so we managed to pull that off with just four instead of five. Had they all been completely empty, we wouldn't needed five. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and we're going to offload. Okay, how do I do that again? Chain select. There's supposed to be a way that I can offload the rest of the stuff in there. It's usually the I key, but it's not coming up. All right, hold on. What the heck, man? Is it shift I? I wonder if it's because it shows zero percent that it's not uh, registering. Okay. Any chance it's going to let me put some more water in here so I can get this last greenhouse filled filled with water? It's okay if it has a little bit of. Oh yeah, okay. It'll have a little bit of fertilizer mixed in with it, but that's fine. I'm sure the greenhouse has no problem with that. <laughs> it's probably because it was showing 0%, even though there were still, you know, a few liters left in there. That's, that's my guess. Okay, so we'll fill this one up. Oh, actually, you know what? The middle one needs a little more water, too. I just forgot. I just remembered that. Okay, it's probably going to need more than just 7,000 liters, but let's just see what it does. Okay, we're completely empty. Uh, let's take a look and see where we're at. So that, yeah, see, it, it, it could use just a little more. These guys should be completely topped off. So that's fine. Let's just give it some more. Let's top it off. We might as well. We will be once again filling, well, we'll probably be filling all three of these up two more times with water before we have to do fertilizer again. We do have to be careful of that, though, because we can't empty the water out of the trailer once it's in there, you know, like poured on the ground. At least I don't think we can. Yeah, see, there's no option for that. All right. Let's finish topping you off. There we go. All right. So the greenhouses are completely full with fertilizer and with water. Good to go on that. Let's get the trailer parked here, and then we need to buy some chicken feed for the chickens just for one month. That's actually not bad if you think about it. We've gotten uh, by almost an entire year on feed that we got from um, contracts. Because we got all that wheat, and then we got a little bit of sorghum, too, at one point. And we've been, able, we've been able to keep the chickens fed with that without having to buy feed. So it's worked out quite nicely. But we're going to get um, a lot of barley from this Field 54. And it's all going to be ours because we're, we're buying the thing. Okay, so I'm just trying to think if, can we get away with one bag of feed from the store? <sighs> Let's go here. Let's go big bags and wheat. So it's 1400 bucks for a thousand liters. That's going to fill it up to about here-ish. Yeah, I think we probably can. And, you know, if, if it turns out we can't, we just buy another bag. It's not that big of a deal. 
relatively inexpensive to buy one bag. But of course, it's always better if you can feed them from your own crops or from grain that you get from contracts like we've been doing. I've been thinking about what we might want to do for our first uh, production production line, and we might actually do do the the grain mill. That's supposed to be a good one. It's not it's not the most lucrative one, but it's still pretty good. One of the things I like about the grain mill is that you know you can you can take four inputs, uh, so we can take wheat, oats, barley, and sorghum. Here you go, chickens. Um, for it to really pay off for us, though, we would need to have, you know, some pretty good-sized fields where we're, we're growing that grain. Um, and I think it costs eighty thousand dollars. So it might not be the right time to do that quite yet. We might want to get some more fields going. But I am thinking along those lines, and uh, it is in the works for sure. One of you guys were commenting on that, and uh, it is most definitely in the works for us to get some production facilities going. Uh, it's just got to be the right time. And, you know, we're still, we're, we're a budding farm here, guys. We, we reached a huge, huge milestone by getting out of debt with the bank. And we're at the point now where we actually have, you know, some cash, some capital, to start expanding without having to take a loan. But I think the next move for us is going to be, you know, field 54 with the barley already planted on it and another about one third or so of the property that we can convert into field, plus some lumber too that we'll make a little bit of money off of. Um, so I really feel like that's the next move. The only thing that would change that now is if something really significant uh, comes up in the sales that we that we should buy uh, and so far I haven't seen anything yet all right let's uh, get OG dressed for springtime oh, what do we want to give him I mean I like the jeans idea and let's give him a flannel shirt that's that's warm, but it's not too warm. And then uh, let's give him a let's give him a branded hat, Planet John Deere Cordova case, John Deere Crone, Massey Ferguson, Voltra. Uh, well. New Holland's the only one that we actually own at the moment uh, from these brands. We don't own any of these other brands right now. I kind of like that John Deere. You know what? He can wear a John Deere. What the heck, man? Yeah. All right. Let's give him some uh, work gloves. How about if we brand it? Husqvarna, Don's Red, Macaulay. These are all chainsaw brands. Okay. Yeah, let's just go, let's just give him some leather gloves. Boots are good. And we'll give him some shakes. There we go. Okay. All right, my friends, we are finished with this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. <laughs> and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And just imagine OG waving goodbye to you. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.